Is this a clown act, or what are we doing? Clown? Did somebody say clown? Well, you know, I did. Huh. I think you might deserve to be clowned for that one, Tony. Okay. Texas. Do you know why that car's coming here? Yeah, because it's another Street Beast owner who kind of... This isn't even a Street Beast. Oh, what is it? It's a 1967-68 Mustang GT500. Whoa. Or 350. That sounds like a cool car. You know why he's sending it all the way down here? Because for some oddball reason, he can't find a shop up there that's going to cut him a square deal. Everywhere he goes, he's getting the round. Well, the, everything costs twice as... No, it doesn't. East Coast, yeah. All he's got to do is find a fucking shop that treats him fair, but there's none up there. Well, you didn't underprice him de again, did you? I don't know. Profitability, remember? <laughs> Tony, first of all, you need to quit being my business manager because you're not good at it. Okay? I've got a degree Because in if you were good at business, you would have my shop full of collision repair jobs. I have, well, I studied accounting. And you know what? And you know what? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Let me explain this to you. Plus, I owned my own business for 23 years. Yeah. And you want me to tell you something else? Ran it all by myself. Yeah. And let me tell you something, okay? I've been in business for 30 years by myself and think I'm doing a hell of a fucking good job at it. I don't need a business manager and I don't need someone to tell me how I'm losing fucking money and this, that, and the other. Okay, what does it matter what I price them? If I want to charge them a dollar an hour or $10,000 an hour, that's my business because I'm the business owner. The price of him spending money with me doesn't have nothing to do why he's bringing it down here the reason he's bringing the car down here Jersey. is because he cannot find any shops up there that will give him a square deal he's taking it to several shops and they have ripped him off and fucked him around can you speak up i can't hear you well you're over talking on me you're over talking me i gotta overpower you i think you're drinking too much fucking coffee the car will be here in a little while. we got to unload it. We'll check it out then. Finish your coffee. I'll see you later. Anything else? Do you, Any other advice, business advice you want to give me from your bachelor's degree? Yes or no? I'll take that as a no. Thank you. Uh, you know... My friend Pete's always telling you to watch your ass and uh, always telling you to shop around, investigate the situation, and make sure that you don't get fucked in the ass because it's out there and it's going to happen. You know what really amazes me is that uh, I get all these people that come to my shop, I get all these emails and all these phone calls how they got fucked around by the body shop, how they got fucked around by this uh, mechanic shop, or you know, I gave them this much money up front, my car sat out in the back for this long. Uh, I went and got my car, and he didn't give me my money back, and he didn't do nothing to it. You know the story. You've been there. You've done that. But you know what? It's just really, really amazing. We got a guy. I don't know where he lives, but he wants to bring his car all the way down to my friend Pete's because he is sick and tired of the fucking bullshit. Where do you bullshit. live, Frank? What's up? Uh, New Jersey. So you're up in New Jersey. What kind of car did you have? A 68? 68 Mustang. That's back there. Okay. Car. It's a what? It's a big block. The 390. Okay, so it's a number, you got the number matching motors and all this for it. Well, the motor, it's the right motor, but it's not number matching. Yeah. Big now, you emailed me and said, motor yeah, you emailed me and said you might think, it, you're thinking about bringing the car to me, dude. Yeah. Why is that? Because uh, he seems to be doing a decent work for the first race. Yeah, but the problem you have, Frank, how far is New Jersey from uh, Texas, dude, Dallas? Uh, I have no idea how far it is. That's a long haul, dude. You're on one way. You're on the East Coast, bub. Yeah, 
Yeah, and you're telling me now, hold on, I'm not trying to discourage you or nothing, but you're telling me that there's nobody up there in New Jersey that can do a nice job for you? They can do a nice job, but I'm charging like 85 up to 90 dollars an hour just to do just a labor part. Now, you, you emailed me one time and you told me that you had it in some body shop and they took your car and they told you, well, we can't fix your car, but we can buy a brand new body for your car. Yeah, they, they wanted to replace the body with the, with the, with the uh, Dynacore. So they wanted, they were trying to tell you to replace the whole fucking body. Forget us doing body work. Yeah. And how much were they going to charge you for that? They were going to charge you on the body work without no part. But labor with the paint it would cost me like fifty-six thousand uh, in, in labor. Fifty-six thousand. So, so my car, they can my car, and then they can purchase the body the other body. It would have been like twenty-six thousand dollars. In, in labor, just labor. That, that, now this is just for the paint and body. This is just for paint and body work. This ain't wiring it up or getting the ro motor running or nothing. Nothing, nothing. Yep. If you brought the car to me, what would you want me to do to it, dude? What is the job that you want me to do? The body, body work on it, whatever it needs. So you want? So you want all the rust repair done? All the repair done, painted, and all I have to do is uh, I put everything else, assemble back, everything back in, motor, trans, interior, everything. I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so you want all the body work done, and you want it from start to finish in paint. What color are you trying to paint it, Frank? The original color that was, it was a candy apple red. Before. Okay, so you want the factory original red color on it. Yeah. The 1968 Mustang red. Exactly. And I can't believe these guys are pushing you out of their shops, dude. Let me guess, you go in these shops up there, and they have more collision work than restoration work, right? Uh, most of them I went through, yeah. Yeah. I went through more collision than anything else. Yeah, the reason, one of the reasons these body shops you go to tell you these high prices is because they really don't want to fuck with your car, dude. Yeah. But, you know, they don't have any, uh, you know, we'll call them a nut job instead of a nut sack because they ain't got no balls between their legs to just basically tell you straight out, we don't want to fuck with it. Yeah. They figure that, you know, if you want to pay $100 an hour, yeah, we'll fuck with it, but other than that, get the fuck out of here. Now, how do you plan on getting that car down here if you brought it down here, dude? Uh, I gotta look like I got some transporting company that was gonna transport the vehicle. Now, uh, you got the doors bolted on it, and the trunk, and the hood, and the fenders, and everything? No, the, the hood's off. The whole front end is off the car. I don't have no fenders on it. I took the fenders out. Yeah, you couldn't bolt all that back on there, so it's a uh, uh, rolling. Well, the fenders were in pretty bad shape. Like... Yeah, but still, I mean, uh, it, it would be better to have all the old parts with the car in case we need anything off them, dude. Uh, I don't have any of the... Uh, oh, you threw them away? Yeah, it threw them away. Okay, forget that. So, what about the hood? Is it junk, too? Yeah, the hood was junk, too. Okay, but you got the doors in the trunk, still. I got the doors here. So. All right. Well, when you get ready to do it, let me know, dude. Just call me instead of... Just call me instead of email me, okay? Okay, you got it. I'm going to let you know that I got every arrangement and what they have to be dropped off with me. So, All right, Frank, and we'll make sure your car's like brand spanking new, dude. It's going to be so nice, dude, that you're not even going to want to put it on the ground, bud. <laughs> it might just be called Trailer Queen. When, it's going to be called Trailer Queen when you get done with it, dude. All right. <laughs> right, I'll see you later, dude. Hey, Poppy. All right. You know, I just really don't understand the situation is. I mean, we had the conversation with them. I asked, answered a lot of questions, not just for you, but for Frank. And what the main deal is, is... You know, people are fucking lazy out there, plain and simple. They don't want to work on these old rusty-ass fucking cars. They want to pull a brand new car in. They want to take the fender off, bolt it on there, scuff and paint it, and send it down the fucking road. That's the easy money. That's where it's at. It's the collision work. But you know what? My friend Pete's dedicated. My friend Pete likes the old cars. And my friend Pete's going to get her done. <laughs>
What's going on? Shake your hand, make a friend. This is my friend Pete over here, SWRNC Southwest Ride Custom. Now, what do we got on the trailer, Bob? Hey, Pete Leo Raber, Raber's Auto Transport from Kenilworth, New Jersey. Easy, we got Hold on. We can tell you're from New Jersey. Oh, we're yeah, we talk quick. a little fast. All right, uh, now, you're, where, where are you from and who are you again? Leo Raber, Raber's Auto Transport from Kenilworth, New Jersey. We've okay. got a 67 to be a big block fastback Mustang. You guys get your hands full fixing this one. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. a big block car. Now, you say you're personal friends with this guy. Now, what's the owner's name again? Brian? Uh, he said to call him by Frank, but we know him by oh, Chico. Oh, that's it, Frank. But we know him by Chico. Chico, yeah. Chico owns. Now, he met my friend Pete on uh, the internet watching YouTube videos and uh, said he was having a serious problem up there getting this car fixed. What the fuck's going on up there, bub? Hourly rate. What do you mean, hourly rate? Oh, uh, you can't get no one to work on a car like that for $39 an hour. So, we got you all, all the way coming from New Jersey. You went to Houston first. Now, what kind of car is it? You said something about a J-code or K-code? Uh, got, he's got the factory 390 on a stand, so it's got to be an S-code big block. Okay, so we're not going to get it running. We're just doing the body work and sending it back. That's all. He's got a guy painting it and everything. I thought you were painting it. I don't know. I think you are. Okay. <laughs> so, he's going to do all the mechanic work to it when you come back and get it. I should be coming back to get a beautiful rolling chassis. You should be coming back to get a brand new on-frame car that doesn't need a motor or transmission and interior. All right, Leo says it's a pile of shit. Leo says that he's going to be really curious when he gets this thing back, that it's even going to be a fucking car or not. Let's see what Leo's talking about. Let's see what he's got. And hopefully my friend Pete didn't get himself in a squirrel cage that he can't get out of. Hey, what's up, Leo? We're going to get ready to unload. All right. Get her all rigged up. Let's get her undone, bud. Come on, Eddie. How you doing? Hold on a second. The guy says it's going to be a trick. It's Have you good. seen worse over here, Eddie? Come oh, I've seen a lot of worse. Yeah, you know, come on, dude. This ain't that bad, bud. Okay. I can't believe, I can't believe that the the guy said that, uh, he called me on the phone and said that he took it to one shop and they told him, look, dude, we can't fix that. It's going to need a whole body. You're going to just buy a whole body, blow this one off, and throw it in the trash. No. You're uh, joking. Yeah. All right. I think they just wanted the easy way out. Yeah, this, this is a Mustang. You can buy every fucking part for it made. Everything. I think we're going to surprise Leo when he comes back to pick that car up. I think he's going to really be shocked. He's going to think that it's not even the same it's car. Chance, uh, yeah, there you go, dude. There you go. Okay, we got Leo all the way from New Jersey. He's a car hauler. Uh, and uh, I guess this is his own rig. And uh, this is the last stop back to New Jersey he goes. And we're going to have to push this bitch off by hand. But that's okay. We got four hefty guys here that's going to fucking get her done. And get her done right. Second one! This guy's fucking crazy. Sounds cool. We'll All do right. that. Good luck and we'll see you in nine months. Uh, all right, Leo. Take care, guys. Thank you very much, dude. Tell Rico, hey, tell Chico he's in good hands, bub. With a guy like you driving, he can't go wrong. Son of a bitch. That's what you call unloading the truck there, bub. At high speed. Yeah, did you see that guy? That was fucking crazy. He should have given a ticket or speed. We should have, should have had the cops over here giving him a ticket. He was speeding, bud. He was. That was fucking wild, wasn't it? Oh, man. I didn't think he'd make a turn. I didn't think he was going to make it, Eddie. I didn't think so. 
1967 Mustang GT, whatever code it is, big block car, on its way to be restored by my friend Pete right here, SWRNC, and it's going to fucking look nice. These guys think it's bad. These guys think that it's uh, unsalvageable, unsavable, and uh, <laughs> I don't see why the, why the fuck they're even acting like that. I, I, there's no fucking way. I can't believe that the shops he took it to said that it's unsalvageable, we can't save it. Just because it has surface rust on it from fucking uh, sandblasting it, there's no fucking way, dude. They're crazy. All right. Listen here, bud. I got your car in the back. I'm gonna cover it up. I gotta finish a couple jobs and I'm gonna pull it in and start working on it, okay? Okay. So, uh, we got your car here. Everything's safe. No one's gonna jack with it. Good. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna look like brand new when you get it back, dude. Good, 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 good. The first thing we're gonna have to do probably is take it over to the sandblasters and get all that fucking surface rust sandblast. Yeah. Okay, off. Okay, turn it turn it that left well, before, but I, I well, that's why it rusted out. If it would have been soda blasted, it wouldn't have rusted. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, who told you to sandblast that? Oh, the guy did. <laughs> man, I can't believe it. Yep. Anyway, man, I'll get a hold of you when I need some cash, okay? You got it. So, uh, don't worry, bud. Your car's gonna look like brand new when you get it back, bud. Alright, bud. And, uh, yeah, we gotta look for them front end parts, right? Yeah. Alright, we'll get them, dude. Fenders you, and the hood or whatever, you know what? Yeah, the fenders and the hood and, uh... Fuck, I think I need two, I think. Yeah, fuck. Now, he said that you all are going to put it together up there, right? Yeah, I got all the interior, all the wiring, everything else, the motor and all that. The grill, the grills, the bumpers and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Frank, I'll talk to you later, dude. I'm going home, bud. All right. All right, buddy, I'll see you later. Be watching those videos. I will. All right, dude. Thanks. Well, it looks like we got a big major job ahead of us in the shop, and, uh, wow. Mm -hmm. We'll be seeing more of that car.